What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd. Little bit of a different video for you here today. I came across this video on YouTube. This video is from Five Minute Crafts, which is like a, a content farm is I guess what I'd describe it as. I guarantee you've seen videos from Five Minute Crafts before. Scrolling through Facebook, they're all over Facebook, they're all over YouTube. It's usually just like a list of tips or, or hacks with no narration, no voice, just like music in the background, some royalty free music. And these videos, they get like millions, millions and millions of views. Like I, I don't get it honestly, because the tips are usually so ridiculous. I, I just, I, I don't get where these millions and millions of views are coming from, but I found this one. It's 45 awesome hacks to enjoy this summer. So I thought, you know, coming from a background in the HVAC industry, I might have some things to say about this. So I'm gonna do a reaction video. Now, first of all, my first concern, 45. 45 awesome hacks to enjoy this summer. This video is 14 minutes and 26 seconds long. And they're saying they crammed 45? 45 hacks in here? I just did some quick math and that's just a little over three hacks per minute. You see that Th 3.1 and some change per minute. So we will, we will see about that, but I, I've got a feeling that's just some arbitrary random number. But anyways, let's jump in. Okay, just warm. Fan's not cutting it. Okay, so we've got a Coke bottle. We, we're cutting open a Coke bottle. Exacto knife through the top. Taking our fan, getting some, <laughs> getting some rope involved now. We're zip tying rope to the fan. I have a vague, I have a vague idea where this is going. Coke bottle, okay, okay. And then they're gonna put water in there. Ah, uh, okay. So I think the the concept here. Uh, is that that rope is gonna be basically like like a long wick that's gonna absorb the water uh, and basically give you some evaporative cooling. So the rope is gonna get kind of soggy and, and wet and then the fan is gonna blow air past that water and uh, evaporate the water so that it uh, gives you a little bit more of a cooling effect depending on the humidity in the house and things like that. But the thing is, I'm looking at the top, I'm looking at that bottle and it doesn't look like the water is even touching the rope. You see that? It looks like it's just kind of like in the bottle and then the bottle angles up towards the cap and then the rope, there's no way that rope's gonna get wet. That, that's not gonna do it. DIY air conditioning, okay, hang on. Hang on, now, now I'm triggered. What you've made there, that is not an air conditioner. That is at best, if it were to actually work and that rope actually got kind of wet, that's a swamp cooler. Swamp coolers are not air conditioners. I, I see this a lot. I see advertisements for these little personal air conditioners and they're not air conditioners, they're swamp coolers. There's a big difference between the two because an air conditioner dehumidifies the air. A swamp cooler actually adds humidity to the air because swamp coolers work off of evaporative cooling. Something gets wet and then you blow some air past that wet something and the water evaporates and that gives you a little bit, a little bit of a cooling effect. And even getting that little bit of a cooling effect depends heavily on where you are. Like where I am in the Atlanta area in Georgia, in the summer, it's usually so humid and in humid environments, evaporative cooling, swamp coolers, eh, they, they don't work that well because the air has a saturation point, right? You can only add so much humidity to the air. And so when it's already super humid, the evaporative cooling doesn't work that well because the evaporation is happening at such a slower rate because the air is already so saturated. So swamp coolers, you know, in, in drier environments in like Arizona, you know, you'll feel a difference. It's, it's cooler than just like a regular fan. It's still nothing like air conditioning, but you can at least feel it's, it's a little bit cooler. But around this neck of the woods, ah, eh. All right, she's running. Oh God, why is her sweat so oily? Okay, a coffee filter that we cut up all weird. And then little like Altoids tin. Are you just gonna rub that abrasive? Oh no, coffee filters are so abrasive. Don't, don't rub coffee filters on your face. 
No, they they make they make exfoliator pads for that. I know this is not a beauty channel, you know, but uh, I gotta believe that there's better uh, equipment out there for exfoliating and drying sweat off of your face than a coffee filter. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Of course they have absorbing properties. Uh, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean rubbing them on your face. Okay, she's got a fake sunburn. Tomato. She's just gonna put she's gonna put tomato on her sunburn. That's that's where we're going with this. Come on, put tomatoes on your face. There you go. Oh yeah, leave the seeds all over. Oh yeah, that's great. Mmm, so nice. <laughs> Fresh added deodorant. Baking soda, coconut oil, tea tree oil. Just buy deodorant. It's not expensive. Like what? What is the scenario? What is the scenario you're in where you have no deodorant? You desperately need deodorant. Like boy, you are smelly, and you've got to be somewhere now. Every store and gas station is closed, I guess, and all you have in your house is baking soda and tea tree oil and whatever else they put in there. Uh... That looks so wet still. Like there was a big glob of it still under there. She's just like, yeah. <laughs> Where's my ring? Okay, what's the tip here? I don't, did her ring get bigger in the pool? I don't understand. Okay, I guess the ring, <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is kind of this is kind of a trope of these types of videos. It's got to involve hot. <laughs> it's got to involve hot glue somehow. So I guess they're saying, is your ring too big? Just friggin' glob some hot glue in there. You know, bigger the glob, the better the job, as they say. And then just put your put your ring on. It'll fit. It'll fit. Why why take it to a jeweler and get it fitted properly? No, just you've got a hot glue gun. Fix it yourself. Okay, she's pulled up to the beach. She's got no place to put her keys because she's in a two-piece swimsuit. So what are we gonna do about this? <laughs> oh God, what? No! How does that help? That's the tip? That's the whole tip? No, no, we've solved this problem. A purse, a bag, we've solved this problem. A beach bag, just put it, put it in something, your shoe, anything, not. Here's, here's what I really don't get. If you were just gonna leave the key on top of your tire anyway, why did you have to tie it to a weed first? What's the, what is that doing for you? She's gonna fix her shoe with a bread tie. She's gonna fix her shoe with a bread tie. Yeah, just put it through there and then bread tie. You know, honestly, on second thought, that's, that's not that bad. If you've got some cheap shoes and you're like out and about, you're at the beach or something and, and it breaks like that, uh, you know, you could get a bread tie. It's something you could probably find around somewhere and, and that'll get you through the day. All right, it'll get you through the day, but just don't don't leave it like that. Just get some shoes. What's the problem? Oh, st stinky feet. Stinky feet. What are we gonna do about that? Bathe, perhaps? No, we're gonna rub deodorant on our feet, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Why? Take a bath. You're in a bathrobe. That implies to me that you have a bath. 
Take it. Take one. Why are there so many shoe ones? Wow, they're really burning through these. Maybe they really are 45. Why? We've been on shoe stuff for a while. This this video is titled 45 Awesome Hacks to Enjoy This Summer. What What's seasonal about this? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, we've moved on. Okay, what are, what are we doing now? They're putting her, they're putting her in a big ass water balloon. What's, what's the hack about this? What's the hack? What's the hack? Are they saying, if you're too hot this summer, just get in a big, big water balloon. Get inside of a big, big water balloon. You're too hot, get in a big, big water balloon. Simple. Ooh. Wow, the drama. B bread tie, bread tie, we already did this. We already did this. You just get a bread tie. No, that's a paperclip, ma'am. Incorrect. That's not how Five Minute Crafts taught me. I feel like that's not fair. I feel like they're they're just recycling tips within the same video. If it were separate videos, at least, I would, I would give them a pass. I'd be like, okay, you're a content farm. This is what you do. But in the same video? You know, that one's actually not too bad. That, that's something we used to do when, when I worked out in the field. You know, you turn a water bottle on its side so that half of it's ice and then you put the rest in water. And then throughout the day, the ice kind of melts and you have more and more cold water to drink. It's, it, that, that one's not bad. Is, was the tip there steal? <laughs> was the tip there to steal from people? Guys, I feel like we moved on. We're li I'm looking at a jar now. Is this a different tip? Was that tip to, was that tip to steal from people on the beach? Okay, all right, no, we're, we're trying to prevent theft. By burying our, I mean, uh, here's the thing. What if somebody's running along and they, they kick you the ball? Like they're just, they're just running along the beach or a, a dog goes by or, or something and that, that ball's just hot glued to, to the lid of that jar. So if that ball comes off, you've buried your valuables. You've buried, those, those people who go around with the metal detectors, they're finally, they're finally gonna have their day because you, you fool, you buried all of your valuables in the sand. Don't do that. She put hot glue on her face. She probably watched a five minute crafts video that told her to put hot glue on her face and she put hot glue on her face. And now this is the tip that tells you how to get the hot glue back off of your face. Aloe, take an aloe leaf, takes the, takes the hot glue right off. Oh, we're making a whole face smoothie. A little, little face smoothie spritz. Yeah, that's that seems refreshing. Tomatoes. I already know. I already know five minute crafts. You rub tomatoes on your face. You told me. Now hang on. You can't have it both ways. Do I put tomatoes all over my face 
or do I freeze aloe? It's, it's one or the other. It's one of the other five minute crafts. You, you can't have both. What do you mean before and after? It's not gonna rub the sunburn right off. That's not how aloe works. If that after is like two months later, then sure. But that would have happened with or without the aloe. The sunburns just heal. Do you get super drunk at the beach? Oh, the end screen is covering up. This is, this is the most dire one. Somebody's dying and they're like covering up with the end screen. What does that say? You put the end screen over it, five minute crafts. What am I supposed to be doing? My friend's dying. <laughs> and that's it. That's, that's where the video ends. Well, um, I did get to talk about air conditioning a little bit. You know, I got to talk about swamp coolers, but a lot of that was just nothing which I guess is what I expected anyways. Why was there such a long section on shoes? It was like, it was like a third of the video was just stuff about shoes and like blisters from shoes that rub and don't fit properly. Like what, why? Whoo, well, uh, that, that was a journey. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for today. Be sure to hit like if you liked the video, got some entertainment out of it, at least I hope. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that YouTube notifies you anytime I upload a new video. Appreciate it. Peace.